and welcome to Laugh Next Film, The Connection, a television show that seeks to connect the Hispanic community to programs and services that are in support of them. We have here Amy Ackerman and Adriana Church, who's going to talk to details about a new partnership they have made with the Latin American Community Center and the Garfield Park Library, where they're going to be offering free English as a second language classes. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you. Well, let's start off with this partnership. Can you tell us about this partnership and the details that are involved? Definitely. Um, what I can tell you is that we have offered English as a second language classes right um, for a very long time at our center, but we decided to expand because we realized that sometimes there are people that are not able to make it to our Wilmington location that may be interested in classes at other locations, and Newcastle seemed like a great area, and the county was very, uh, very open to this partnership. So. Um, we, we uh, expanded to Garfield Park uh, in Newcastle, and it's a, a convenient location, a great room. Um, it's free to all students, and uh, we're just uh, we're just about ready to start it up. And uh, who are the classes uh, offered to? Sometimes people think as English as a second language, only Spanish speaking people are going to be there, but that's not the case here. So you can touch bases on that part. It's not the case at all. Even with, though we are the Latin American Community Center. Most of, while most of our students are Spanish speaking, it's definitely not every single one of our students. We accept anyone who, is willi who wants to learn English or who's a willing student. Um, we have Chinese students, um, uh, Japanese students, Korean students, uh, students from all countries really that come in wanting to speak, wanting to learn English. Um, so we really take anyone and we, we encourage anyone who's, who's here to learn. And what are these classes going to be offered? Uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. at Garfield Library. And is there an incentive? I know that uh, for the first 10 people there's a perk here. What's there the is a perk. We are giving away uh, our textbook that we're going to be using. It's normally about $25 and uh, the first 10 people that sign up get a free textbook. And where is this uh, Garfield Park location? It's actually right in Newcastle right off uh, 13. It's 26 Carlin Drive, Newcastle, Delaware. And the Latin American Community Center offers a variety of services. What adult education classes does the LACC also offer? We do. We have a whole full adult basic education center off uh, Maryland Avenue. We're very centrally located. We have uh, civics and citizenship classes every Monday. Uh, we teach everyone who's there um, basic education uh, about history and uh, just general knowledge about the country um, for anyone who's interested in possibly becoming a citizen in the future. Um, we have our ESL classes in intermediate and um, beginning. We also have GED classes for anyone who's interested in getting a GED. Um, you don't have to speak English for those classes. We're actually the only one offering GED classes in Spanish. And we also have computer classes, v very basic computer classes for people that have never really used a computer but are trying to kind of break into it and learn how to type, learn how to use Microsoft Word, that type of thing. And what are the requirements for registration? Really, we don't require any any actual documentation. We just need, you know, some basic information, um, name, address, phone number, and just some information about what your last schooling experience was. So we don't require a lot. It, the classes are free. Um, we just, we keep track of some basic information on you because every 60 hours we do an assessment to see if you've moved up a level, if you're improving, if the classes are helping your English level. And was there a need to have this type of partnership? Do you believe so? Well, what we're trying to do is um, we're trying to work with other um, other organizations and associations, and that and the county is just a, a great a great organization to 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 make a partnership with because they have so many resources, mm -hmm. and it's just it's it's they're just very they're, and they've been fantastic to work with. And the fact is, in Wilmington, we have a great great location where we're at, but there's so many people in Newcastle without transportation or. They just feel like Wilmington's a little bit too far to get to, and we've just been getting many calls saying, oh, you know, I've seen your signs, I've received your papers, and I would just love to, to sign up for this class here in Newcastle. It's so close to my home, it's so close to my work, and, you know, I don't have a car, or, you know, I don't have transportation. So it, it opens up a new location where, you know, we, we just wouldn't be able to have a location before without this partnership. And here to represent uh, Newcastle County Libraries, mm -hmm. we have here with us Adriana. And Adriana, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the role that the Newcastle County Libraries is making to reach out to the Hispanic community? Well, one of the things that we're definitely new, uh, doing is welcoming organizations like the LACC, 
and the Parent Information Center of Delaware, so they can come in and also provide their services through our libraries in a way that will make Hispanics feel comfortable. For example, um, the Parent Information Center of Delaware has started a workshop, a computer workshop at the Beta Library, where parents who want access to their child's school's website will learn how to do that and therefore have access to their child's homework assignments, um, report cards, have access to how to contact, contact their teachers. And this is a wonderful resource because many, many parents don't know how to access these websites. So it's a wonderful resource for the Spanish community. We also offer ESL classes in many different um, libraries. For example, Bear Woodlawn has an ESL class. So this is wonderful. And um, like Amy said, it's not just for Hispanics, it's for anybody who wants to learn English. And we also have a large collection of um, Spanish books, DVDs, and CDs for those who are learning English. And they're welcome to come to any of our libraries and borrow these. And they could start using these plus going to the ESL classes. So, and we also offer um, computer classes in Spanish. So if people are interested in learning how to put a resume together, how to write a cover letter, um, how to uh, create an email account, it's all there and it's all in Spanish. And everything is absolutely free. And what is the process for getting a library card? It's very simple. All you need is a Delaware ID or a Delaware driver's license. And if you don't have these documents, we require that you show a photo ID, and this could be um, a job ID, a passport, military ID, student ID. And um, on top of that, we would like you to bring some sort of bill, like an electrical bill, a telephone bill, with your name and address to prove that you do live in Delaware. And that's all we need. And what are some of the benefits of actually having one, having a library oh, Lots of benefits. You can borrow materials, and everything's for free, like I said. You can borrow magazines, books, DVDs, um, CDs, music. We have music from all over the world. And also you can have access to our computers. Um, you have three hours a day for um, computer usage. And um, you could also, oh, and one thing that I do want to emphasize, you do not need a library card for our um, programs. You can go to the um, bilingual story times and you don't need a library card. You can join the chess club and you don't need a library card. It's only to borrow materials and to use our public computers. And it's also very helpful because you can access your account from home if you can't make it to the library. And you can renew your materials, you can borrow materials. So it's, it's a wonderful resource to have. And Adriana, uh, si tú quieres hacer algo en español, puedes decirlo ahora. Me gustaría decir que, que por favor visiten las bibliotecas. Es muy importante que visiten las bibliotecas porque tenemos muchos recursos para los niños, para los adultos, y es una manera en que la comunidad latina se siente que están bienvenidos. Y también es un lugar donde pueden aprender muchas cosas por, y gratis, y, y, y pueden relajarse y divertirse. Gracias. Thank you so much, ladies. I really appreciate this opportunity to interview both of you guys. And just coming mm -hmm. out here and give us this important information. Thanks, Thanks for having you. us. Thank you. You're welcome. Stay tuned. We'll return after these short messages. Any parent who has high expectations for their child, any parent who wants what's best for their child is an advocate. What they sometimes are lacking are the skills to be an effective advocate. A parent can't be involved if they don't have the knowledge, especially when you're talking about the, the special education process. Um, it's very intimidating. These uh, centers were created as part of the law so that families can make sure their children receive the education and services they need to develop and to uh, advance academically and functionally. The Parent Information Center is really the only organization in the state that, that has the primary focus of advocating 
for children with disabilities in the school system and helping the parents be a, a part of that process. information, education, and support to parents and families who have children with disabilities. I have here with us Hazel Cole and Criselis Lopez. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Well, let's start off with telling us who PIC is. Uh, well, PIC has been around, like you said, for 30 years, and we, um, our mission is to improve uh, parent engagement in education. So we work with parents, mostly parents of children with special needs, um, to provide them support around their children's education. We provide one-on-one -on -one consultations, we provide workshops, and we also provide family leadership academies. And all our services are free for parents, mm -hmm. and we also provide professional training for um, educators and support people within the education system. Y puedes decir en español quién es Sí, claro. El Parent Information Center es una organización sin fines de lucro que sirve a todo el estado de Delaware y como bien explicabas eso tenemos aproximadamente 30 años eh, en Delaware dando servicios a los padres con niños con necesidades especiales. La misión de nosotros es promover la participación de los padres en la educación. Ese es nuestro, si logramos que nuestros padres se involucren, ¿verdad? Sabemos que nuestros hijos van a poder alcanzar sus metas de una manera exitosa. And Hazel, can you also let us know uh, the benefits of this organization, what makes it so unique? Um, well, there are about 18,000 um, students within Delaware who have special education needs, and we, within a year, um, will talk to more than 2,500 parents. We will, uh, we have our website that is uh, viewed by thousands of uh, families and educators, and we are part of a national um, training and information center. There are about 108 um, parent training and information centers nationwide, and we are the only one in Delaware. We receive a lot of training and support from that national center. So we have a lot of education and we, we know the, the parents' rights and the laws around special education services. So we're in a unique position to be able to help parents um, due to our expertise uh, in that area. Oh, wonderful. ¿Cuáles son los beneficios? Sí, como decía Jessica, nosotros somos una organización que somos parte de una red nacional de, de entrenamiento para padres, ¿verdad? Es, esto quiere decir que en todos los estados de Estados Unidos hay un centro de entrenamiento para padres y es soportado por el Ministerio de Educación. Eh, claro, parte de los beneficios es que nosotros podemos proveer la información que los padres necesiten de una manera gratis. Y adicionalmente a eso, nosotros proveemos también muchos talleres. Nuestros talleres son gratis también. Como bien había dicho uh, mi, una, una persona de Bear Library que estuvo por acá también, ella, uh, nosotros proveemos talleres en las bibliotecas, proveemos talleres en las escuelas. La idea es que alcancemos a, a las personas latinas. En el caso de las personas latinas, ellos tienen que vernos a nosotros. Es muy difícil alcanzar a las personas latinas uh, a través del Internet, a través de otros medios. Tenemos que vernos personalmente y entonces se crea esa conexión tan especial. Wonderful. And there are a lot of different services that uh, PIC, serve, uh, PIC actually offers. You have the workshops, mm -hmm. the one-on-one -on -one consultations. Can you tell us a little bit about this? Um, yes. A lot of our parents will call us when they have had problems within the school, and they will call us and they will get um, one of our parent consultants. Um, Chris Ellis and I are both parent consultants, and we call ourselves consultants because what we do is we teach the parent how to become the best advocate for their child. You and I are going to be in their lives and, and, and gone, but the parent is going to be with their child for life, and we look to give them skills to be able to advocate for their child and to know the power that they have um, and what they can request and how they can help their child's education. So that's, that's the biggest piece of what we do in the one-on-one -on -one consultations. The workshops are also part of building that strength and knowledge within the parents so that they can know um, what's involved and they can really be a true partner in the education of their child. 
y a entonces decir los citados de los servicios? Claro, el, el, lo que hacemos es entonces, hacemos consultas uno a uno con la idea de darle al padre las herramientas para que ellos puedan ser los mejores defensores de sus hijos en toda la vida. Lo que vemos es que pueden pasar muchos maestros año a año, pero el padre es el que queda para toda la vida con su niño. Entonces, ¿qué queremos nosotros? ¿Cuál es nuestra misión? Que sus padres aprendan a saber defender a sus niños, a saber qué es lo que necesitan en las escuelas y en cualquier área donde ellos estén. Entonces, ¿qué ofrecemos nosotros para esto? Ofrecemos talleres que pueden enfocarse en muchas áreas. Tenemos talleres que se enfocan de una manera general, como participación de los padres en la escuela, la intimidación. Ah, hablamos también como para que los padres sean más comunicativos con la escuela y sean efectivos, ¿verdad?, para comunicar sus asuntos con las escuelas. Y adicionalmente tenemos entonces temas especiales, como por ejemplo, acerca del programa de estudio individualizado, o en inglés que le dicen IEP. Entonces tenemos talleres que enseñamos a estos papás a conocer un mundo muy complejo que es la educación especial. Esa es nuestra misión. Wonderful. And Hazel, can you tell us a little bit about um, how one can contact you? And, and also, what are some of the challenges that parents face, and why mm -hmm. should they contact you? Um, well, we have offices in Wilmington and in Georgetown, and um, you can contact us either through the, our website, pickofdell.org, or you can contact us with, on our phone number. Um, and the, the challenge is it's, it's really sometimes as a parent of uh, a child with special needs, you kind of feel like you're on an island on your own. Um, you don't really know where to turn. You know that what's going on for your child is, is not right, but you don't know where to go to fix that. And so we try and help parents. We, we both have um, children with special needs and we know what the parents are going through. And we provide that support to them and the knowledge and the information so that they can go ahead and, and be a support for their child. Um, we, it, that's really kind of the, the biggest piece. And, and we encourage parents to call us because parents know when something's not right with their child. El punto es que los padres se presentan con muchos uh, asuntos en sus escuelas. Entonces, tienen la posibilidad de llamarnos a nosotros para que podamos guiarlos. Eh, nuevamente, pueden ser de, de muchos tópicos y nosotros pues nos sentamos con los padres y vemos cuál es la manera, cuál es el plan para poder organizar muchas ideas y entonces poder atacar el, los problemas de una manera eficaz. Eh, el otro punto que nosotros tenemos es que el, el Parent Information Center tiene muchos recursos, ¿verdad?, de entrenamiento, y entonces podemos entonces ir atacando cada uno de ellos dependiendo de la necesidad que tenga cada, un, cada, cada padre. El otro punto importante es que nuestra comunidad latina, eh, precisamente por la parte cultural, muchas veces eh, pensamos que la escuela es otro mundo y es asunto de los maestros, y nosotros no tenemos la potestad de, de añadir algo, agregar uh -huh. algo o de preguntar algo. Entonces, en, en el caso de los latinos, muchas veces es duro porque muchos padres aceptan todo como está. Cuando ellos son parte del equipo de trabajo uh -huh. de la IP o del, del, del trabajo de la educación especial o del programa de educación que tenga el niño. Entonces, queremos nosotros animar a esos padres a que se atrevan a decir muchas veces podríamos hacerlo mejor uh -huh. o no estoy de acuerdo con ciertos puntos. Entonces, es parte de lo que nosotros queremos lograr, sobre todo con la comunidad latina. A que ellos sepan que tienen derechos y que ellos pueden decir no estoy de acuerdo en algunos casos. Inclusive, muchos maestros se alegran cuando escuchan eso, porque nuestros padres son muy tímidos. Uh -huh. Entonces, no, no transmiten verdad muchas cosas especiales que tienen nuestros niños. El solo decir mi hijo es un poco tímido y por eso hace ciertas cosas, eso ayuda mucho a su maestro. Entonces, a veces no lo compartimos y eso entonces dificulta un poco que el programa educativo sea más efectivo para nuestros niños. Gracias, Cruceres. Esta información es más importante de esta organización. Thank you so much. Es parte de nuestro, es nuestro corazón en la organización Alcanzar las Familias Latinas. No solamente tenemos PAN en consulta, que es mi caso, y el caso de Hessel, sino también nos, tenemos otros programas que se encargan de apoyar a estas familias para que puedan ir en, navegar en todo el programa, en todo el proceso, porque la educación especial realmente es un poco intimidante. Y como dice ese, uh, somos madres, nosotros, la mayoría de nuestro staff, de nuestro personal, son madres y padres de niños especiales. Uh -huh. Entonces sabemos, cuando un papá viene con un sentimiento, yo sé lo que se siente tener un documento de IP y no entenderlo, uh -huh. porque es complejo. Uh -huh. Entonces, por eso es que estamos nosotros para ayudar al padre en todo este proceso. Uh -huh. Thank you for your time, ladies.
unfortunately that's all we have but I definitely would like to have you back on so I really believe this is an important organization Thank that more so parents much. just need to know about Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. We'll return after these short messages. It all comes down to, to general compassion. And everybody is affected by it. You know, people may think that they're not affected by it, but people they know, people they love, everybody is affected by it. I'm not a person that can sit around, and sitting around was just not working for me. So I knew I needed to get out and do something. Look at me now, I'm, you know, I'm healthy, I'm working, um, I'm living my life. Today I'm happily married sometimes. <laughs> I have a hope to go back to work eventually, um, you know, and help out the community in any aspect um, that I could. I had HIV for 20 years, and I'm still going strong. Our goal as an agency is, is, to, is to help these people, not only with the current programming that we have in place, but to try to figure out what other programming they need, what other help do they need in their life to, to make them you know, integrate with society more, to be productive, to live a full life just like every other person lives. For 30 years, AIDS Delaware has been providing support for those living with HIV and AIDS in Delaware. They've also been av having services that are available to actually educate those in the community about HIV. I have here with us Felix Negron and Daniel Smith. Welcome to the show. Thank you very much. Thank you for coming. Well, let's just start off about who is AIDS Delaware? We have been around, like you said, for, for about 30 years. Um, we provide case management to about 400 clients um, statewide. We're the um, largest and only statewide case management organization in Delaware for HIV and AIDS. Um, and then we provide a, a great deal of preventative education throughout the community and, and schools and community organizations, um, as well as HIV um, testing. Y Felix, ¿quién es AIDS Delaware? Um, nosotros hacemos muchos servicios diferentes para nuestros clientes. Um, nosotros tenemos una persona, una um, trabajadora social que habla español. Um, nosotros hacemos exámenes de VIH, y tenemos educación también para um, la comunidad um, y a nosotros no, nos llaman para hacer educación en diferentes escuelas en, en el estado de Delaware y, y nosotros tenemos una persona que va a la escuela y, y da información. And, and for those of us who are unaware, what is the number of cases of those living with HIV AIDS here in Delaware? There's uh, about 3,700 people in, in Delaware with HIV and AIDS. Um, the most recent report came out in 2012. Um, it comes out every other year, so next year we'll have updated numbers as well. Y puede decir cuántas personas está viviendo con AIDS en Delaware? Sí, um, una de las cosas que nosotros um, buscamos fue, como él dijo, en, en el 2012 buscamos. Y como el estado de Delaware es tan pequeño, um, el estado es el número 8 um, de, de VIH en, en, en de, de VIH para, para porque, como dije. Um, el estado es tan pequeño y hay muchas personas um, que tienen VIH en el estado. And uh, getting tested for HIV can be very uh, intimidating. No one really wants to know if they have it, and then they're kind of scared to go to the site to see if they do. Um, do you offer free testing? And if so, how long does it take to get the results? Um, we actually do. We offer um, testing at our location in Wilmington. Um, as well as our tester goes out to several locations throughout um, the state, whether it be Newark or Claymont. Um, and we actually have two different tests that we provide. Um, as of January of this year, we started doing the rapid rapid, which means that if an individual um, tests um, positive, um, we are able to use a different, a different um, test in order to confirm that that person is positive. Um, one of the tests takes 10 minutes to get an answer back, the other one takes 20. 20 minutes, so it's, it's very fast to, to get the results back. And how can someone obtain information should they want to go ahead and get tested? Um, we actually do, um, you can 
set up an appointment through our website, aidsdelaware.org, um, or you could give us a call um, to set up an appointment to get tested, or you can just drop in. We have drop-in hours pretty much any time that we're open from 8.30 a.m. Um, to 4.30 p.m. You can go ahead and drop in, and um, there's always someone available. We have multiple testers, so there's always someone available that can test you. ¿Y puede ser mismo información en español también? Sí. Um, si usted quiere tener un, un examen um, para VIH, puede venir a cualquier hora de 8 y media, 4 y media, o nos puede llamar a nuestro teléfono o a nuestro website para hacer una cita, um, y siempre hay alguien que, que puede hacer el, el examen. And now, unfortunately, AIDS reaches all types of different ethnic backgrounds, but are there any type of services specifically geared towards the Hispanic community? We do have a case manager that speaks Spanish, so we do have someone available as well as myself. So there's always someone available to answer questions. Even if it's um, a question coming from someone that's not a client of ours, we do our best to, to find an answer for you. Um, so yes, we do have um, Spanish-speaking individuals at our office that will be able to answer any questions that you have. Um, and like I said, we have the, the Spanish-speaking case manager as well. And another component of AIDS Delaware is educating the community how to protect yourself. Mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the things that AIDS Delaware does to actually do this? Do you provide any type of materials? Sure. Um, well, one of the things I mentioned earlier was that we go into schools throughout the state. Um, we reach about 2,000 students per year um, going in and, and doing HIV 101 training. Um, so our education manager goes in for about an hour and um, We'll provide materials, like you said, and um, in some circumstances, if the school will allow um, condom distribution as well. Um, and then we also go out into the community and um, we have a program that really gets into the streets of, of some high-risk areas in Wilmington and, and passes out materials and, and condoms um, for preventative education. And AIDS Delaware is known uh, for numerous things, but I know there's a walk that's coming up as well. What are some of the other activities mm -hmm. or events that AIDS Delaware holds throughout the year? Dining Out for Life, which is a really easy way to give back to the community and have fun at the same time. We just ask people to get out and have a good evening with, with friends and family and, and good food, and the restaurant will donate money back. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much. Sure. Unfortunately, this went really quick, but I appreciate the two of you coming out here to let us know sure. about AIDS Delaware. It's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you. And on behalf of all of us here at WITN 22, I'm Yusinia Tavares. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.